Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review, courtesy of the team over at Showzy. Today we're taking a look at Fans Toys Rig. This is FT47, their interpretation of Huffer. Quick look around the box, nothing that you wouldn't expect from Fans Toys, lovely embossed image there. Some images on the back there of Huffer doing his thing, vehicle mode, very kind of dynamic, heroic pose there. And then we've got their warpath and their turtle toad brawn uh, who i still need to get although his price has gone so uh, i do have their tesla 2.0 en route as well again ordered from showzy but this is about rig so let's crack him open and here we have him out of his plastic prison uh, he looks fabulous doesn't he scarily too accurate uh, too too accurate for some people uh, which i don't really get um the whole idea of them doing it the way they've done it is to capture that to inaccuracy. I mean, the head sculpt alone is absolutely sublime. Obviously, I have added the decal on afterwards. That's uh, the metallic ocean decal that I put on there to go with his lovely paint scheme. But uh, adore, absolutely adore how he looks. Couldn't have asked for a more kind of screen accurate interpretation of Huff. I mean, comparing him to the other Huffs that we've had to date, you'll have to excuse uh, Shafter over there. I don't have the original x transports coloration of their Huffer. I just got him in my kind of G2 shelf at the moment just because of his vibrant, bright color scheme. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, Cubex, uh, that was one of the biggest problems with their initial release, uh, other than the fact it fell apart. Uh, was the incredibly bad application of paint. It would literally flake as you did the video. Now, his main rival, and still the ultimate huffer for some, is the Bad Cube version, who I actually picked up from Tiger Blade Customs. A fantastic customizer as well as fantastic salesperson. And then we've got the final victory, part of the trio, their kind of interpretation. A cheap entry level version to Huffer. Uh, and again, could be a good Huffer for most if you just want something to stand in or if you're not fussed about that screen accuracy. Personally, I think we really kind of narrow it down to these two. So let's take a look at these two side by side. And obviously, we've got the similarities of them both being based on that same character. Some love the sculpt on a bad cube version. I personally think it's a really nice sculpt, but somewhat dated. I think Fans Toys could have possibly over-engineered this guy. I mean, it's a very simplistic idea of folding down into a small truck, but they've done a sterling job. You can't ignore all of those screws that are visible on the back of the figure, but the backpack does fold up remarkably well in comparison to the Bab Cube version, I think it looks a lot less like just a truck hanging off his back. You will notice I've got him slightly perched further forward. There's no reason for that. He does stand perfectly straight. That's just how I've got him kind of angled. He's kind of doing that tutting pose. But I love how clean the legs are on the Fans Toys model. It really does show what they're capable of. I love the feet on this in comparison to their brawn but like i said i will still be getting him because he's the best offering of that character on the market to date uh, what do we think of the colors uh, bad cube possibly a little bit more cartoon-esque in colors but that sculpt on fans toys is absolutely sublime isn't it oh he's such a good little guy isn't he uh, accessory wise we get a couple of these blasters that come with fans toys not the same, two actually different blasters, both nice in their own right. And we get that kind of shock horror face sculpt. Again, really nicely done. Incredibly accurate sculpt. Absolutely sublime. Now, he's not without his flaws. Uh, a lot of people are moaning about the articulation on these arms there. Uh, we do lose somewhat. 
just because of how low it's positioned. I mean, we've got ratchets going round, but it sits so low on this shoulder. Really, you want to kind of hoik it up a little bit or have an additional hinge of maybe arch outwards. Really looking forward to see if some of the customizers that I've showcased prior to this can make an additional kind of hinge piece that go in there. But that's a sacrifice they've made due to that screen accuracy. It sits down here, tabs in just here under those bingo wings, and then tabs into the back panel where the head can look up, down, left, and right. Again, we have some hindrance due to this back panel behind that head. So you can't get as much range on that head as I would like, but still incredibly solid sculpt there. We do have hip skirts to the front, all one panel, and to the side there which allows the legs to come this far forwards, this far back, out to the side, there's an upper thigh rotation. We have a nice bend on that knee, and then we have some pivoting up and down on those feet, and we have a little bit of motion in there, kind of left and right as well, which is uh, something that a lot of companies won't do. They'll give us some up and down on those feet, but left and right, is often neglected. See, this is uh, what I mean. It comes untabbed from here, and then if it's untabbed from there, it then comes untabbed from that back panel piece as well. But that being said, as soon as I saw Pake's review of this, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I, need to, I need one of these in my life. Uh, I loved Huff. I already did. Uh, Huff was one of my uh, dirty likes, I guess, from the original. Everybody kind of just like, oh, he's the small little dude that one time took Prime's trailer, but uh, the guy doesn't get enough, doesn't get enough love at all. Uh, I like to give him his large rifle, which again, uh, very much as you'd expect, it's kind of double handled. You can just slide in to the hand. You've got these tabs just at the back. So it slides in and then you just push that it's almost like the peg on mine is slightly, slightly too big, but it's this kind of a rubbery plastic. So you'd expect it just to sit in there a little better than what it does. Um, I don't have the same problem with these smaller guns. I think maybe it is the rubbery plastic. These smaller ones kind of slide in there and stay there. But the uh, larger gun doesn't really hold as well as I'd like. Has anybody ever had the problem of a paint scheme being so smooth that a water decal won't stay on it? Uh, I've actually had to replace the Ocean Metallic with a normal decal because the other one kept sliding off, even though I followed the instructions, applied it as you should. But yeah, I was not <laughs> expecting that to... Uh, come off but there we go and here he is scaling with some other bots that aren't him <laughs> we've got the fans toys interpretation of warpath and then we've got bad cubes gears and swerve and we've got the final victory version of brawn and he's sporting the bad cube head and no it doesn't attach it's just on there because i think it looked uh, better and less cluttered than a bad cubes version but oh <laughs> These three, yeah, they'll be going shortly, I think. And for some of those bigger bots, here he is alongside the Crimson Wing Thundercracker and the Not Fans Toys version of Soundwave as well. Uh, so he's a good size. I mean, he's kind of Voyager scale, I think, from top to bottom, but with uh, a kind of a deluxe look to him. But uh, honestly, I really enjoy him. Now, as handsome a fellow, as rig is let's get him there uh, whoo hello transformed up so you want to uh, turn these 180 like so got this tab here that's going to lift up and this section here then allows this to turn 90 degrees and then that tab can go back in this panel on the foot opens up he says come on come on come on, come on. there we go like this close this panel off move this piece back this is going to come all the way up 
like so. So it runs parallel with this piece like this. And then bending this hinge here, this is gonna come up. So it sits like this, resting against that leg. Lift up this back panel piece, which comes away from the torso. That then allows these arms to disengage like so. Brings those all the way down to its sides. Lift these panels here upwards and come on. Lift this panel here up. The chest then comes untabbed. so and this actually is on a really long hinge section these wheels come out to the side and come out to the side I'm going to push those so they lock in and this is going to come all the way down and then we can bring these panels back off and close those back off coming around to the back of this panel piece this comes up and this is going to open and this will untap and detach, opening all the way up. We can then lift this panel here. This panel here comes away and that allows these wheels, like we did with the legs, to be turned outwards and lock in. So let's just spin those around, bring that all the way down, turn that outwards and lock that into position. These panels come out, this panel comes out, this comes down and tabs in, this comes down and pushes and secures. Come on, on to the back. This comes up, these come out to the side, this is going to unfold, unfold and unfold. This tab here unfolds like so, rotate his waist around and then you want to bring this panel down and just uh, making sure that this fits into that void there's a tab there that we just need to push and lock that in so it secures in come on here we go there we go lovely jubbly uh, this should then he says come in and this is going to tab into the top like that. And then the side like this, do that on both sides. So top here and here and sides just here. Oh, it's starting to come together. Uh, this needs to square up somewhat like this. This is gonna rock. And you see there's this tab underneath where we rotated the waist. That's going to square off, that's going to come in, push, tab, and again lock in uh, to that front piece. Uh, this isn't tabbed in here correctly. I do love the fact that they use the legs for the cab. That's a great piece of engineering right there. And these are going to just square off, square off. Starting to come together, this is going to come inwards. And from here, just move these back. Uh, this is going to rock around and slide into this void. Uh, you want to make sure, though, that the hinge is on the outside when we rock that in. So that needs to be there. And the thumb needs to be facing outwards. So when it slides into here like this, uh, to give us a little twist, this should then just slide in and over the top. 
sealing all of that in. And you should have something that looks like that underneath with the visible head. Ah, there we go. That is Huff in his vehicle form. Really nice, kind of smooth rolling there. Lovely little piece. And for those of you who want to uh, <laughs> add the weapons on there, uh, that's that's definitely not uh, definitely not one of my cups of tea there. But uh, I guess that's that's an option. No doors to open, unfortunately, but still a splendid huffer, nonetheless. I might be on my own here, but I actually think that Cubex did a better version of the alt mode than what they did with the bad cube version. I know it was a tricky thing to change up. Uh, I think I've uh, mistransformed the uh, back panels here. I know these don't sit like that, uh, but, but it gives you kind of an idea. And I actually think the transformation was better. Uh, I haven't, no, I haven't flipped this out, haven't I? That's meant to sit and tab in to the legs, helping secure those into position. There we go. Yeah, I think the transformation is better on here, but uh, I don't know, I should get like something like that at the back, shouldn't it? But anyway, I actually think that's probably one of the better alt modes, but they're all much the same. I just think something's missing a little bit from the Cubex version. Uh, just a bit from the uh, baggy version, I think. I don't know, maybe it's just a little bit hollow. Not so nice die cast and stuff at the back there, but uh, I don't know. I think, I don't know, I think I'll keep, I'll keep one of them in vehicle mode nonetheless, uh, and I'll definitely have Van's toys transformed up into his bot mode, because the bot mode is absolutely sublime. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. Uh, you can kind of incorporate this with Prime's trailer. I'm um, not really sure how that's meant to just kind of sit on there. I'm not really sure, but, uh, I won't be doing that myself, but there are other videos out there that uh, show you other comparisons and what you can do with this guy. But for now, I just thought I'd uh, show him off, uh, share my thoughts, and share a link in the description below where you can purchase it. So until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all very much for watching. A goodbye.